From Nutrient Ag Solutions, I'm Senior Meteorologist Andrew Pritchard with your Canadian Prairie weather story for Monday, October 3rd, 2022. Welcome to October. Taking a look at temperatures here on this Monday morning, a mixed bag, generally in the upper single digits, maybe a couple readings here near 10 degrees, 10 in Edmonton this morning. Uh, but again, you can find some lower single digits as you make your way across the prairie as well this morning. So you take a look at the satellite picture. We've got this low that we've been talking about for the last few days, this one that was going to kind of slowly pass south of the prairie bringing some scattered showers to the area, and that's exactly what it's doing. But the stronger jet stream flow really comes up over the top of this little wave. So it continues to just kind of meander eastward, uh, just south of the Canadian and U.S. border. Again, a couple areas of showers here, far southern Saskatchewan into southern uh, Manitoba this morning, south of Winnipeg. We've got some light showers on going there, but really a lot more miss than it is hit. You can also see a few showers here across portions of uh, north central Alberta approaching the Edmonton area. It's not impossible. We could continue to see some very light hit or miss showers here through midweek as another little wave comes in on the back side here. Really going to continue with the, the, the same pattern relatively unchanged over the next 10 days. It's going to be another mostly dry and mostly mild week across the prairie. Here's the next three and a half days. This takes us through Thursday afternoon. You can see the cutoff low here across the uh, you know, northern high plains of the U.S. continue to slowly move off to the east. Very light showers possible across this area. You see here Wednesday and Thursday, this next little wave coming here. The, the NAM, which I'm showing you here, not very gung-ho with precipitation on the backside here midweek, Wednesday, Thursday. You can see the light precipitation continuing off to the east with that cutoff low across the northern plains of the U.S. As I flip over and show you the European model, this two through midday Thursday, you can see the European model a little more gung-ho, if you want to call it that. We're talking about some light showers here, dropping a few millimeters of precipitation, just enough to kind of wet the top layer of soil here, potentially Wednesday and Thursday, in relatively hit-or-miss fashion. And that's really it. We add in the next week, or I should say we take it through the next week, all the way through Sunday, October 9th, and we really just tack on a tiny little bit of precipitation up here with that little wave uh, that comes through uh, toward the weekend. So by and large, across the prairie, we're talking about some very light precipitation here over the next couple of days. Maybe some very light precipitation right here Wednesday and Thursday, otherwise pretty dry across the region. And the reason for that, you look at the over overall pattern here across North America. Here's that little cutoff low, uh, really um, kind of a blip in the overall pattern, which continues to see the jet stream well to the north here and ridging across the prairie. This is just a little bit of a disruption here as this trough continues. This is the reason that it's slowly moving off to the east. There's nothing here to steer it as it continues south of the stronger jet stream flow. And as we animate this, what I want you to see is the overall pattern continues to reload. And that is ridging across western Canada, systems coming out of the northwest to the southeast, bringing us little shots of cooler air. but. The overall pattern continues to default toward, uh, you know, ridging across the region. What I want to show you, though, is as we get toward the beginning of next week, this little wave comes diving out of the northwest right here. You see this trough comes swinging in, ridging on the back side. That's, that's kind of crucial to understanding the next 10 to 14 days. I want to show you good agreement here, the European on the left, GFS on the right. Both here suggest that we get a big trough swinging through uh, around Tuesday, October 11th. But what they both agree on is we kind of just revert back to the overall pattern. Here's the ensemble look. There's the wave right there, Tuesday. And then what happens? Ridging comes right back in on the back side. We'll show you one more time. Here it is right there. Ridging comes right back across Western Canada. So what does that mean? Well, as we get into October 13th and 18th, on the back side of that wave, we're still talking about a lot of warmth across Western Canada, especially British Columbia, Alberta, but at times, again, leaning a few degrees warmer than average into Saskatchewan and Southern Manitoba. You'll be a little bit more prone to those shots of cooler air coming out of the Northwest as you make your way east across the prairie, and then a little bit closer to the pushes of warmth that come in on the backside on the Western portions of the prairie. As we take a look at the precipitation forecast that accompanies all of this, we'll just go ahead and focus here on the prairie. Not much to talk about. There's the big wave that comes through Tuesday. What you notice here, this one that we're talking about around October 18th. Let me go ahead and jump back. Let this play one more time. I'll show you as the wave comes in. This is, we'll just go through time. Monday, this is Tuesday. You can see that cutoff low continuing to slowly meander through this region. You see a little bit of light precipitation, some light shower activity here midweek. This is as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. There you see it across this region. 
that gets out of here. We get high pressure for the weekend. It should be a clear, maybe a little bit cool at times weekend. Here comes your Tuesday trough. Here it is. What this is going to do is bring a big shot of cold air early next week, around Tuesday, Wednesday. But what you don't see is a big area of sustained precipitation. So the key here is, uh, you know, I got pretty good confidence. We're going to see a shot of cool air come in here early next week. But what I also have confidence is we're not going to be talking about a lot in the way of soaking precipitation. And then I've got relatively high confidence that ridging high pressure comes in on the backside. And that shot of cool air is probably going to be limited to maybe two to three days across the region. We'll illustrate the temperature pattern here. And it really becomes clear then. Warmth, the dominant factor. But there you see those shots of blue and green come in. Here's one here late this week. And then the next one that comes in here Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. So what do your temperatures look like? Well, again, we're talking about not much in the way of precipitation, a couple opportunities for some very light precipitation. So that sets the table for a pretty dry next seven to 10 days. And then here are the temperatures that accompany that. A little warmer over the next couple of days, that shot of cool air mid to late week, as we talked about. Mild again with high pressure through the weekend. And then here's that shot of cool air around Tuesday, October 11th. Uh, now that I'm saying that, I'm feeling like I might have misspoken a moment ago and said that that wave was coming in Tuesday, October 18th. It's Tuesday, October 11th that we'll see that shot of cool air and light precipitation associated with that, just in case I misspoke there. Edmonton, same look here as we saw in uh, Calgary. Saskatoon, very similar, although as I mentioned, a little more prone to those shots of cool air. You're going to feel that a little more. We will be heading below freezing. Uh, for Thursday and Friday morning in Saskatoon, as well as in Regina. Winnipeg, very similar here. Mild the next few days, shot of cool air late week. Mild over the weekend, shot of cool air early to mid next week. Have a wonderful week.